force do you get on it? About 4,000 pounds of force of And we design all of our recipes for that. 4,000 pounds, is that like standing on Jupiter? Or? It's enough to squash you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the Lady of the Night, it's based on a what is it? This is a sriracha that we put in the center of you. So that's basically just sriracha with all of the solid material taken out of it. Almost just like sriracha. <laughs> you should. You blend that with a little bit of water because there's uh -huh. not a lot of water in sriracha. Okay. This is clarified which is just With the Ambarian voice of sugar, just bottled voice of sugar. Uh, well, put the center. Right, right, right. And you know what comes out is the anchovy paste that drops the water. Okay. Is it a quarter ounce of clarified lime juice also done in the center? Three quarters of an ounce of uh, clarified tomato juice. Do you puree the tomatoes and then shove them into the center? Yeah, with an enzyme to break down the fat. A couple of drops okay. of uh, salt. Claire, how many drops of salt you put in this? It's uh, 20 grams of salt per 200 grams of water. It's much easier to dose this with horseradish. It's the accuracy. It's very hard to put a couple of grams of salt in, right, right. especially if your hands are wet. And I'm going to put two ounces of salt There's not that much different about this particular cocktail than a plastic cocktail. As far as the customer is concerned, there's no difference. The flavors, I think, are different. I think it's very interesting. But it, it has more to do with our workflow. Right. Our workflow is different because we have a lot of prep work. Just tend to show our glassware a little bit. Right. And that's how, how cold is that? Minus like 196 Celsius. This is a couple of things. One, yes, it does look good. But two, it means we don't have to have a lot of refrigerated storage for our glassware. And if you store glassware in the fridge, the whole thing gets cold. So you get condensation on this, and this becomes cold to touch and becomes uh -huh. wet and clammy. So we're only chilling the part of the glass that we want to chill. So if you want to, you can build this. It's going to sit there spinning. You can do whatever you want. The glass is going to maintain its chilling. And it's only chilling the inside of the glass, gotcha. which is the part you want to show. And it spins around that easily because it's what? Frictionless. It's floating on a layer of uh, gas, so it's, it's fundamentally frictionless. What's that effect called? Light and frost. Yeah. So you get this really nice chilled glass. It's hard to show, but it also actually makes storage easier, service faster. Right. A lot of bar stuff, there is a show to it, but everything we do, we do for a reason. And I think that's what a lot of people, they don't necessarily get. We're not just messing about with that too much sriracha in this. Again, I'm, merely, perfect. Okay. I'm merely the bar back, so they don't usually let me make drinks here.